All right, welcome back, everybody. Well, this week we're going to do another great acoustic 12-string song. At least I think it's cool. Um, and that's You're So Bad by Tom Petty. And uh, I was so excited when this album came out on, uh, whatever, 1988, Full Moon Fever. And I was in college, and um, it was just such a welcome sound uh, when you put it next to everything else that was out on the radio at the time. It's like back to roots rock and uh, jangly Rickenbacker guitars and just Tom Petty greatness. You know, the great thing about Tom Petty songs is all of their chords are usually not super complicated, you know, um, and uh, just super easy and fun to play along with. And there's a little bit sort of unique voicings that might happen here or there, but very accessible. And so all the rhythm guitar stuff we'll cover today. And then also Mike Campbell's great um, 12 string electric lead that he plays over it. I'm guessing it was Mike, it sounds like him. Um, and uh, we'll learn that too. So if this is the kind of thing that you're into and you haven't done it already, I invite you to jump down and click subscribe and ring the bell because the bell lets you know when I put out new content, which I'll do every single week. All my videos have chapters in them so you can jump right to the part of the lesson that you want to see and bypass what you don't. And if you're looking for other ways to support the channel, I appreciate that. There's thanks, which is like throwing a tip in the tip jar. Or you can join my Patreon page where I've got chord charts and tabs for all the songs that I do on YouTube like this one. And all the links are in the description, so check it out. All right, so let's get to it. You're so bad. All right, so if you got a 12-string acoustic, break it out. Um, but it sounds great with six-string too, but it's epic on 12, right? All right, so there's going to be some easy chords on here. Um, but let's break down all of them, okay? So it opens up with A minor. And the strum pattern is. I'm not gonna count the down ups how I do it, but you can see how I do it. Right? So it's going to move from an A minor, and then you're going to hold that A minor shape, but you're going to pick up your middle finger and you're going to put it on the F sharp on your E string, but you keep the other fingers there. Why? Because if you think about it, it's really what he's playing as a D7. And then he's going to go to a G, but he doesn't play that full D7. He wants to get that that low F sharp instead of the, the high F sharp. Isn't that great? Let that E ring. And then I like to do this G. Again, keep that E um, open. Back to your A minor. So one more time. Maybe I play a full G. I do both. And on that strum, notice you're sort of hitting the root note first, and then you're strumming the chord. Root, root, root. Right? Go around again. Right? Now we're going to go to our next part. Our next part, the chords are E minor, C, and I like to put a G on the bottom, G, D. Play any variety of G you want. But I would highly uh, encourage you to do open cowboy chords. Don't do bar chords. It's just let all of these, whatever you've got an open string that can ring, let it ring. That's what's part of this sound.
goes to the chorus. You're so bad. G, D, C, add nine. top again. So let's do that whole formation. E minor. C. G, D, E minor, C, G, D, G, D, C. And then remember, you hear this. They dub in like nine guitars on top of all of that. But if you want to do all of it, that's where you do your bar chord. You could also do it down here. That'll sound fine, or just a regular C with the G on top. guitar solo. So we'll talk about that in just a sec. Um, the last part is after your solo, you're going to go around the E minor again. Um, does a chorus. Does it again. Again. Hangs on that. Chorus again. Big ending here. G. Sus. So you just do that normal G. And you want to fret your G this way with these fingers because you want to leave your index finger free. All right? All right, that's the acoustic part. Now let's talk about the electric part. Now the 12-string electric parts on this song are very tasteful, um, very sparse throughout the song. Uh, in my opinion, and then the solo is perfect. It's like exactly what you want to play. It mimics the melody very closely, and it echoes all the great influences they had from the birds and Roger McGuinn, obviously. And um, okay, so so let me just cover the what's happening sort of throughout the song, accent-wise, with the twelve string, and then we'll go right into the solo. Okay, so there's. With the 12, there's mostly sort of whole note um, chords that are just strum and they ring like through the whole measure, right? And it starts right from the get-go in the opening, you know, the very opening chords uh, of the song where you're hearing, you know, my sister got lucky. It's just all that that just sort of supports the driving acoustic. That's, that's the main guitar in the song, right? So... You know, you'll find those going on and during the chorus. Right, those things are um, supporting it. Um, there's a little riff that he does when he gets to that D that hangs for the extra uh, measure, right? He does this little, um, so picture a, you know, this, this type of a D chord. Right? 
and he's playing a little lick that's based off of that, but he's letting some open strings ring. Um, so what he does is he uh, play. He's he's playing this shape that you'll see over my shoulder. Um, so he's fretting the fifth fret, fifth fret on the fifth string to get a D, um, and then he's going to play the open D right after that, and he's going to pick fourth string on D right after that, right? So it's then the open G, and then the D on the B string. So it sounds like this. Right? And if you haven't heard that now, that probably rang true for you, right? You hear that. Just a beautiful way to accent the normal D that's happening on the acoustic after that. So he plays that a couple times throughout the song. Um, but otherwise, it's just those whole note chords. And then at the very end, um, where you're closing out the, you know, the G on the G sus, he just backs that up. All right, so that's that. So now let's talk about the solo. Love this thing. Love it, love it, love it. So it, like I said, it's very close to the melody of the song. Um, and um, there's a lot of, there's sort of a lot of open strings that are happening um, along with it. And like I said, it really gets that bird's sound, which Roger McGuinn uh, popularized, popularized, where he's playing, like every song is in D and you have as many like open strings that you can have when you're going on, but he, he does that theme. Now what I try, because there's a lot of notes going on, um, so if you have trouble sort of following along what exactly is happening, here's a trick that I do um, on songs like this, is I try and pick out what's the main, like I can hear all these other open strings happening, but what's sort of the main melody line that he's playing? And let me just first ground myself in that, and then let's add on the sort of open strings that complement it. So that's what I'm going to do here, and I'm actually going to do it on a six on the six string neck here, just to because um, it sounds a little easier or a little cleaner. Um, so anyway, so it's off of an A minor, you know, and he's playing this whole thing over the A minor verse formation. It's all off of that, and I'm sure my neck, my six string neck here is out of tune but we're going to go with it close enough. Anyway, okay, so it runs so it runs like this. And he ends on that D note because that's the last chord, right? So now let's move up to our 12 string. Um, it'll be a little more noisy, but again, let's just play the melody. Okay, um, now we're going to add on the other notes. So the other notes that are happening, a lot of them are this open E string that's happening with it. So let me do that slowly. Hear that rubbing against each other? So I'm sort of grabbing all those open those open strings as they fall open. just a thing of beauty um, and you know it all sort of works you're just playing those open notes that fall within you know chord extensions of all of the chords that are happening on that um, but you just let them all ring out and it just it fills it up but there's sort of 
not a whole lot going. I don't think it's not like a an actual like banjo roll or or anything super fancy like that. When you watch Mike Campbell play it, um, I'll link a video here. Um, it's basically da 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 da. It's like string one, string two, string one, string two. You know, as he's as he going going through it all. So last time at speed. <laughs> And I think I hear him just play all those op those open strings there, even though it's a D chord. I hear, I, s I think I hear all of those. So that's how I like to end it. So, all right. Well, that is "You're So Bad" by Tom Petty off of Full Moon Fever, and I hope you learned something new today. If you like what you saw and you haven't done so yet, um, I invite you to drop, jump down and click subscribe and ring the bell. The bell lets you know when I drop new content, which I do every week. Um, let me know in the comments what you thought about this one and if there's another one you want me to take on um, and do a lesson similar, let me know that too. So until next week, take care everybody.